we did cover um some by continuations pretty much the whole call to be honest so today i feel like we can do um sales for the whole call if you guys don't mind and then next week we'll go ahead and cover uh reversals let's go ahead and look for something i was looking at eur usd on higher time frame for you guys so let's just go ahead let's get out of here i'm gonna go ahead and break it down for you guys where are my tools at okay cool so now guys we're going to be worried about the downtrend last week we were worried about the uptrend right this week we're going to go ahead and worry about the downtrend so make sure you guys have your notebooks ready because i want you guys to take notes on this um i draw the way i want you guys to take the notes so you guys have detailed notes right there for you um so let's go ahead and get into it and i think it's loud low key huh they want you to know they're here all right let me go ahead and adjust this real quick Okay, cool, guys. So market is downtrending right now, right? Downtrending. Now, at some point, market is going to have to pull back, right? Let the market do its thing, guys. Like, honestly, like, trading is, you're waiting most of the time anyways, guys. Like, you guys have to let things develop, right? So right now, what we have is lower low and lower high, right? So in order to get a continuation move, we have to break and close below this low here. Does that make sense, guys? Give me a five if that's making sense. Does that make sense, everybody? All right. Bit, bit, bit. All right, guys. So we need to go ahead and break below this low here in order to get some continuation moves. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So boom, Mark is doing what it's supposed to do. Right? Awesome. So we can see here, we got a BOS. So let's mark it up. I want to keep everything clean for you guys. Like I said, I want to I draw things the way I want you guys to have it in your notes. All right, cool. Cool, guys. So right now we have our break of structure to the downside, which is letting us know your market is continuing down. So let's go ahead and find our point of interest to sell. So guys, anytime we see our rally breakout, this is letting us know we got something. Right. So let's go ahead and identify the rally breakout one and then follow that rally break out back up. So let's go. We got one candle, two candle, three candle. And then this last buying candle, guys, this is going to be our starting point. Right. Why is it called the starting point? Because it literally started this massive bearish rally back down. Right. It was the last buying candle and then massive, massive, massive push down to the downside. Right, so boom, that last buying candle is gonna be our starting point. And this is where we would like to enter for some sell opportunities, okay? So next, what we wanna do is once we find our starting point, we gotta look for the highest peak in that area, right? We need to find our stop loss. So let's go ahead. Let's say it's this red candle here and the highest point in that is gonna be that wick, right? So that's gonna be our stop loss. Boom. So at this point, guys, this is the setup. Like we we got it. This is it. Whether you whether you uh enter at the 50% or the first touch, right? We we covered this last week. We know Krista, Miguel, uh Javi, they, they like to enter right at that 50. And me and the other Miguel, we like to enter right here on the first touch. Right? We're not worried about the drawdown. We want to be in. We see the play. We see the potential that the market has to offer, right? This is it, guys. This whole, let's just change this color. This whole red zone, guys, is your, your entry to sell. So you can enter at the bottom or the 50%. It's totally up to you, right? Uh, it says, are we going to wait for a retest to enter our starting point? Yes. That's pretty much what we're doing. So, again, once we get this rally breakout, we're waiting for market to come back up and touch or retest this zone so we can go ahead and get into that sell opportunity. Does that make sense, Alex? Okay, cool. 
Awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. So that's it, guys. Right, that is it. So let's go ahead. This would be our target here, right? Anytime you guys can't find a target, just go one to three, right? One to three is solid. This helps keep you profitable, right? But anytime you could find a target point, if we know this is my lower low, lower high, lower low, and anytime market pulls back to give me a lower high, if market wants to continue down, it would have to break this low point here, right? So that's what we want to target. Boom. So we can see the drawing here is a, a one to four risk to award, which is pretty solid, right? But at this point, guys, we're just waiting, right? So we can have alert set right here. We can have an alert right here to notify us whenever market is on its way back up, right? Because guys, once you guys see a setup, it, it's literally just waiting time, right? Set an alert, go do what you got to do, go work out, go, go to work, go do some hobbies, right? Go hang out with your family. It's a waiting game, right? It'll come when it comes. So let's go ahead. The market is on its way back up for us. Let's go. Boom, market's on its way. Let's go ahead, guys. Awesome. It touched our entry point. Let's get it. Now, we should be looking to sell as soon as it touches this zone, guys. So automatically, let's go ahead and get to it. Boom, we in profit, baby. Let's go. Let's go. So let's go ahead and... We'll, we'll change this drawing up just a bit. Just a bit. Okay, guys. So this is what we got right here. We got lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high and a lower low right we do break and close below this low giving us another bos led nesto market is continuing to the downside okay now we have to find our starting point do you guys see the breakout rally boom it's right here right this was a dub let's go ahead and delete that we get our breakout rally right here guys Right, so let's go ahead and follow that breakout back up. We got one candle, two candle, and then our last buying candle before the breakout rally. Guys, let's just stay fresh, right? Let's just rinse and repeat. Let's move our zone right where it's supposed to be, the, the brand new starting point, right? The brand new starting point. So guys, anytime we find our starting point, we have to find our stop loss. Right. So we have to look for the highest peak in this area. Right. The highest peak in this area. So let's just say it's this green candle now. Let's just say it's this green candle. So now I actually have to spread out this box because the whole zone should go from wick to wick, from the top of that wick to the bottom of this wick. Right. Because that's the whole candle. So now my stop loss should go right above this box, right? Right above that box. Does that make sense, guys? Give me one if that makes sense. So the starting point before price broke, BOS, correct? Yes, that is exactly correct. Good job. Awesome, awesome. Okay, Jenny, I see you. Let's get it, guys. Cool. So let's go ahead, guys. We found our starting point. This is the play that we're looking at. We're, can, we're looking to continue sell to sell down. Lower low, lower high, lower low. We're looking to catch this lower high so we can go ahead and continue selling down. So let's go ahead, fam. Let's go ahead and set it up. Why is it way up there? Crazy. All right. And then my target point, one to three. If you're ever lost, one to three risk to award, bang, bang. And if you're able to find the low, which is this point here, right when market comes back for you, whenever market makes that U-turn to come back for you, we know we want to target this point right here, right? So that would be another one to four with this drawing here. Does that make sense, guys, how to find your TPs, right? Once market gives us a lower low and we pull back, 
to find that entry, we want to we want to go ahead and, and take out that that low, so market can continue, right? Daniel, where you at, Daniel? Is he here? Daniel. All right, guys. So boom, again, it's a waiting game. Market right now, guys, is down here. Market's down here. So what do we do? What do we do, guys, if market is down here? Let me know. Type in the chat. Unmute. You guys can say it. What do we do if market is down here and we're waiting for sales up here, guys? Put an alarm. Right? You guys should be putting alarms right here. So when market wants to come back and touch your alarm, we're notified so we can go ahead and get to our phone, get to our computer, so we can go ahead and start making some decisions, right? But tell it touches this line, guys, we're doing what we're supposed to do, right? We're doing what we're supposed to do. So let's go ahead. Boom, market is on its way up. Let's go ahead and just add another candle. All right, we were in drawdown. It happens. Why do you ignore the consolidation near the last starting point? This right here? Yeah, that's one. Um, well, because I'm not really worried about consolidation when it comes to the entries. So whenever I'm looking for continuations, I mainly stick to my rally breakout. And then I look for the last buying candle that started that rally breakout. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Um, so, yes, market has touched our zone. Let's just adjust this real quick. Boom. Now, let's just say, guys, it starts to consolidate, right? There's been some trades where market just consolidates right in your entry. Let's just go ahead, put a little bit of consolidation, a little bit of fear in your heart real quick, you know? Because this happens, guys. This happens all the time. So when I draw it and you guys see on the chart, you're like, oh, okay, he, he was actually really helping me out, right? So let's go ahead. You entered the trade. Market's been consolidating right in your area, right? And then market wants to go ahead and start dropping. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and just remove that, I guess. Start dropping in your favor. Cool. Right. Awesome. Mark is going our way. This is what we want. Right. Now, again, we know, guys, that this is the low that needs to be broken. OK, this is the low that needs to be broken. So we focus on that. Right. We, we got to focus on this point right here. So whenever this point's broken, guys, we got to look for that rally breakout and then the starting point. So tell then you let the market do what it's supposed to do. So let's go ahead. Awesome, guys. Awesome. We just got another break of structure to the downside. Let's go ahead and delete that. We'll stay fresh. And this is it right here. We hit TP. Awesome. Let's go ahead and just delete that for the visual. Cool. So, guys, we got a brand new breakout rally. Right? This breakout rally gave us another BOS to the downside, letting us know market is still continuing trend. Right? So, let's go ahead. This is a, a two-candle breakout, but we got to follow that two-candle breakout back up to the last buying candle. Right? Which is this one right here. This last buying candle started that bearish move. Guys, please. All right, cool. So let's go ahead. We stay fresh. All right, that's going to be our starting point. This area right here is our new starting point for sales to continue trend. So again, guys, once we find our starting point, we have to find our stop loss. All right, so let's go ahead and find the highest point in this area let's say it's this red candle here let's just say it's actually a little longer let's say it's something like that right sometimes the market's not always going to give you small stop losses uh so will it always be a, a buying candle or is that what you personally do no and, and a silent and when market is downtrending 
we want to look for last buying candles before the rally breakout. That's going to be your starting point. That's uh, supply and demand. That's your order block. Right. Levels cause it starting points because that starts the breakout rally. But in smart money, that's your supply and demand. Does that make sense, bro? Awesome. 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 Yep. Cool. So we're downtrending. Right. Market's not always going to give you tight stop losses. Sometimes it'll give you super tight ones. Sometimes a little bit more. And then sometimes it's a little larger. Right. And that's OK. It is what it is. The market is giving you the setup. Right. So let's go ahead and adjust. One to three, anytime you are lost, guys. And it looks like one to three right here smack in this low, which is perfect. So let's just go ahead. And we'll just leave that right there. So, guys, if market is down here, what should we do? What are we doing, guys? If the market is right here and we found our setup and it's way up here, what are we going to do, guys? Set an alert. You set an alert right here, fam. So you can continue to do what you need to do off the charts. You guys don't need to be glued to your charts 24-7. Set alerts. That's why you invest into trading view. So you can literally live your life while the market's doing what it's supposed to do. Right? I hope that is getting through to you. So again, guys, let the market do what it's supposed to do. We're waiting right now. Let it do its job. Boom. As soon as it touches, guys, it's in our sell zone. We're not waiting. Let's go ahead and get in. Right? You know where your entry is supposed to be. You know where your stop loss is supposed to go with the minimum one to three. And if you find anything, any target slower, this target is just a one to three. But if there was, you know, something a little lower, you know, that would be your target point. But guys, this is how we do this. We rinse and repeat over and over and over again when market is trending down, fam. When market is trending down, this is this is how we do it, guys. Actually, let's go ahead. I want to keep it clean. Keep it clean. Guys, is this making sense, fam? Let me know. Let me know. Are any of you guys confused right now? Because I know a lot of you guys are going to ask or may ask some questions about some other things that I didn't even bring up. And I want you guys just to focus on this right here. Right? This right here. We're moving slow. If you guys haven't noticed, I've been moving really slow for you guys the past two, three weeks, which is perfectly fine with me. I do not mind. You know what I'm saying? I, I do not mind at all. I want you guys to understand this to the fullest. You know, so for uh, day one, we did market structure. Market structure. Day two, we did buy continuations. Day three, sell continuations, guys. So let's go ahead. Um, are you guys good with the examples? Do you guys want to go look at live charts now? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see. Where are we at? I wanted to go to, to the daily time frame. I was seeing something on. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is itchy right now. Okay, guys. So I wanted to see if we can find some sal continuations. Oops. In this bearish move, I was looking at uh, charts before the call, and honestly, everything is in bullish, like literally everything. So I'm like, dang, nothing's really selling down to find continuation sales. But I uh, was on EU and saw this. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just see. I haven't even looked at it yet, guys. So let's just take a look and see if we can sell some uh, keep selling continuations. And I want to cover why the market was selling in this area. So let's go ahead, guys. So we haven't really covered this topic yet, but I feel like it's it's just a good um, basic one real quick. I'm not going to go too in-depth, right? But let's just go ahead and cover the market structure that we have here. So we have higher high, higher low, higher high. So let's just go ahead and cover this. Market was continuing trend. 
break your structure to the upside. Now notice, guys, once we break and close below, right, market broke and closed below, and it kept going. So that told us right there, market was starting to head down now, right? But I wanted to show you this because this is just super clean in my opinion, right? You guys know I love head and shoulders. I'm a huge head and shoulder trader. Right, so if you're looking at this, this is more of like a weekly setup. Um, what is this right now? Okay, this is more of like a weekly setup. So if I go to the weekly, look at how clean this setup is, guys. For some of the vets, you're like, oh my goodness, that's clean. <clears throat> right, so looking at this, guys, my stop loss would be the high. Yeah, it's freaking beautiful. The stop loss would be the high. Now you're thinking, well, this is huge, right? That's a huge stop loss. But guys, this is the weekly setup. Right. If you guys want to drop down a time frame or some time frames and wait for another setup, that's perfectly fine. But when it comes to the weekly, you have to respect the structure that market is giving you. Right. So as we can see, this is what we look for when it comes to the head and shoulder. <clears throat> we have right shoulder, our head. And as soon as we break and close below, guys, we're looking for market to come back and touch this zone to sell off. Now, again, we haven't covered this topic, but I just wanted to bring this up real quick. Because look, as soon as market sold off, right, it came right back to this area, played around, played with your emotions, and then it continued down. Right, it continued down. And that that was honestly a super nice swing. When was this? 2021. If I didn't even start trading EU till like this past this past year, and I don't even, even think I started trading until like 2021 too, so I would have missed out on this either way. But that right there is super nice. So now that we covered why that market was selling, let's go ahead and see if we can catch some continuation sound moves in here, right? So let's go ahead and drop back down to the daily time frame. Okay, cool. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. So this is what I mean by dropping down to lower time frames, right? I could have been in, in this trade right here and I would have been in drawdown. Um about let's see. Cause I'm a person who enters right at the first touch. So from here, I'm in drawdown about <clears throat> 300 pips. Right. And again, like on a setup, I mean, this is just the weekly, but if this was like the hour or four hour setup, like I'm okay with the drawdown because I see the setup, right? I can't argue with the setup. I can't be like, yo, banks, make that stop loss smaller, right? The setup's the setup, guys. So if that's your stop loss, yes, I could have been in drawdown, but I never got taken out, okay? So you could have been in there first touch or you can wait for another setup to happen, which is what I'm gonna break down to you guys right now. Right, so let's go ahead. I want to go ahead and we covered break of structure and change of character our first call. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that back this call, right? So let's go ahead, Mark. We're going to focus on the bullish trend that's happening right here before this large shift, okay? So let's go ahead. Market gave me a higher high, higher low, and market breakout broke out and gave me another higher high, giving me a BOS to the upside. And then it rinse and repeats, right? Market gives me a higher high, higher low, and then we go ahead and break and close above, giving me another higher high. So let's go ahead and put another break of structure because market is still continuing trend, right? Let's go ahead. Market gives me higher high, higher low, and market is continuing trend. We do break out and close below, or I'm sorry, close above right here in this area. So let's go ahead. Boom. Guys, on the first call, I told you guys to have a trailing need of change of character line, right? So if we started here, where's my need of change of character line, right? As we continue to go up, pull back and go higher, right? We need to break structure and go higher. So as market, higher high, higher low, and goes higher, 
I can go ahead and adjust. Market pulls back and goes higher. I can go ahead and adjust. Right? So notice, guys. As soon as we break and get this change of character, guys, this is my breakout rally right here. Oops. My breakout rally right here. You guys see that? Oops. Oh, my goodness. Is that clear on the TV? Yeah. All right. That's super clear. All right. So you guys see that then, right? 37 of you. 10 of you guys. Right? Awesome. Kenny, it's me and you, Kenny. Or me and you, Daniel. Let's get it, bro. Guys, look at how we get this rally breakout right here. Right? I see you, Ozzy. Let's get it. Guys, let's follow that breakout right back up. One, two, three. Boom, this last buying candle, that last buying candle, that is your starting point. Let's go ahead and mark that up. Boom, that's your starting point. Let's go ahead and get rid of this line. We're waiting for this area, guys. I would like market to come back here and give me a sell opportunity, right? So let's just go ahead and see if that happens. Oh, my goodness, that was super, super close. Okay, guys, so let's just delete this real quick, right? So I want to focus on something too, guys. I want to help you with something. We know that we want to sell right here, right? We're looking to sell right here in this box. But anytime the market comes back up to your entry, we need to focus on structure, Right, because the same confirmations we got right here, letting us know market wants to continue down, we can get the same confirmations right here, letting us know market wants to continue down. Right, so we're gonna focus on the small bullish trend up to our sell zone. Does that make sense, guys? Give me a one if that makes sense. Does that make sense? So as market is coming back up, right, we were looking to sell here. It is what it is. It was probably like a, a weekly zone, and your weekly zone is probably these three candles right here, but that's okay, right? Let's just say we missed it because it happens, right? And we're not always snipers. So let's just go ahead. We're going to focus on this slight bullish upward trend right here, okay? So let's go ahead. We get higher high, higher low, and market does go higher, right? So let's just go ahead and put a BOS. Right, because market did go higher. Now, notice how we changed character right here. Boom. So, yeah, we missed that entry. But, guys, we have another one right here now. So, notice how we got a breakout rally right here. Let's go ahead and mark that up. That's a wick entry. So guys, you're looking at the market when it's right here, right? Market drops, market's right here. You're waiting right here and you're standing your ground. Does this make sense, man? Like you, you see the rally breakout, right? You mark it up. This would be our stop loss right there. Right, we're waiting for market to come back. Now, anybody who focuses on the 50% would have obviously been missed, but anybody who focused on the first touch would have got a sniper. Right, would have got a sniper. So let's just go ahead, stretch that out to a one to three, and let's just see if that got smacked. Obviously, we could see that was one to two. Definitely should have been partialed out at some point because this is the daily. Right, so let's go ahead and count the pips. That's probably like two, three hundred pips. Two eighty. So you definitely should have been partialed out at some time. Right, boom, partialed out. It does go higher. So let's just go see. Um, what does it go to? Because I'm seeing. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. <laughs> guys, look, guys. Hey, 
I didn't even notice that I did that. We were looking to catch this continuation cell, right? And it did give it to us. Let me go ahead and look for it. Right? It does give it to us. Gave us 200 pips. Was able to partial out and go break even. Right? Now, look. We've been waiting for this zone. This was the very, very first zone we were waiting for, right? Now, we missed it here. We missed the initial push. We missed we missed the in, initial uh, 540 pips, right? So let's just go ahead. Let's, let's scrap this, right? It is what it is. It is what it is. So let's just go ahead and see. Guys, notice how market came all the way down here, all the way down here. And then came back. Where do you think we're going to take our profit at? I would like to take it down here. That's where my swing TP would go. Like if I'm definitely put like leaving some type of small runner in down to this level. Uh, how do you determine what time frame to mark up on charts? Uh, I, honestly, I just like higher time frames because it's a, it's much cleaner in my opinion. But you can mark up on lower time frames as well. I mean, do you guys want me to go to a, like a smaller time frame for you guys? Okay, cool. So let's just go ahead and finish this example, and then I'll go ahead and hop on lower time frame. What time frame uh, would you guys like to hop on? You tell me. You guys, one minute menaces. You guys, five minute menace. Thirty minute. Thirty minute. Might as well stick to the one hour. 15 minutes, you might as well stick to the one hour, fam. 15 minutes, one hour structure. One to one to uh, five to 15. All right, that's a little different. Five to 15, a little different. All right, guys, let's go ahead and finish this up. But look, fam, look at this. We were waiting. Okay, we missed it. Okay, we it is what it is, right? But when you mind your business and you sit pretty and you keep your alarms where they're supposed to be, guys, you would have gotten notified. And I'm pretty sure you would have taken this trade. Who would have taken this trade, fam? Let me know, guys. Dang, none of y'all eating? That's crazy. I know Kenny would have smacked. Kenny's been smacking. Kenny, Kenny would have smacked for sure. Set and forget. Dang. That's clean, bro. And then market just took off. All right. AU. All right. Was it a sell example? Uh, all right. 15 minute. Let's go ahead. This one? Are, are this one down here? Um, I think this is FXCM. Yeah, FXCM. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. And... Oh, did it? Oh, okay. All right, let's go back over here. All right, guys, we're on. Oh, look at this. Look at this right here. Oh, this is perfect. And we're on EU. All right, guys. Oh, I could have just did this example. That's crazy. All right, so let's just take a, take a look at the higher time frame real quick. So we could see market was in an uptrend, right? Market was shifting in upward momentum, right? And then at some point, market stopped going upwards and started shifting downwards. Right, so let's just go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Again, guys, like, let's just take a look, right? Look at the structure. I'm going to go ahead and just mark this up. Right, market needs to break and close below this low in order to get some confirmation. So let's just go to the lower time frame, right? You guys want to hop on the 15 minute. Check me out, guys. So we can see here that we get a first initial break 
on the 15 right here. Now, that's very, very small and tight, but, I mean, it did happen. So if you're looking at this, maybe you trust it and maybe you don't, right? Maybe you trust this and maybe you don't. But the thing is, like, where is our starting point that breaks the structure here? On the 15 minute, it's this one. And then we have structure here that was broken to the downside, right? But you guys, anytime you guys see two types of starting points, right, go up a time frame. This is why I like, like, the one-hour minimum, right? Because anything you're seeing, like, if you're looking at this at the 15 minutes, like this, you might as well go up to the one-hour, guys. If you're looking at this at the 30-minute, where is this thing? If you're looking at this at the 30-minute, guys, notice how on the 15, we got some breakage, right? But on the 30 minute, we don't. Now, look, notice how the starting point that was right here isn't right here anymore. And then notice how the starting point that was on the 15 minute isn't even a starting point on the 30 minute. Right? Now, look, check me out. On the one hour time frame, let's just go up back. Let's go back up real quick or back down. Sorry. On the 30 minute time frame, guys. Your starting point is right here, right? Let's take a look where it's at on the one hour. It's the same right here. So, guys, we already know. We already know when it comes to change of characters, we always get two entries. One is your starting point and the other is your shoulder. Right, so it looks like the starting point, it was having trouble, right? And it just didn't give us what we wanted. And it went up. Now let's see why the market went up before taking that sell. So obviously we would have gotten clapped right here, right? This is the highest wick in this area. This would have been your stop loss. Uh, would have got clapped and that's okay. It is what it is, right? But like I said, anytime we change character guys, there's always two. So that was option one, right? That was option one. Let's go ahead and follow the structure. We get higher high, higher low, and we break and close above going higher, which would give us a BOS. Now notice, guys, as soon as we get this break and close below, this is going to be considered a change of character. Right? So, guys, we can see here that this break of structure would be considered my left shoulder. This wick right here, this wick right here is my head. And as soon as we break and close below, guys, that's my change of character. So now once we get this confirmation right here, right, we're not looking to sell, guys, until we actually break and close below the change of character, right? So that's our main confirmation right there. So we can see we had opportunity one with our starting point. And then opportunity two with our left shoulder. Now, again, we have a little bit of drawdown, but guys, where should my stop loss be when it comes to the head and shoulder, guys? Where should my stop loss be, guys? For those that know, top of the head, the higher high. So, again, you're going to be thinking, oh, dang, that thing is, that's huge, bro. That's a huge stop loss, right? But let's just see. One to three all day, baby. That's all I need. Now, as soon as we get this initial push, guys, we could already be at break even. Boom. We could have taken some money off the table as soon as market actually broke and closed below here. So we could have partialed out one, stop loss to break even at two, and this market hit my take profit. Yes. What's the best time frame to look out for order blocks? I mean, they're on every time frame. They're really on every time frame, but um, the thing is, lower the time frame, more starting points, which means you're going to get faked out a lot more, if that makes sense, right? That's why I like higher time frames, because there's only going to be one when it breaks out. I don't know if this makes sense, but do all wicks count? Um, When it comes to, like, the head, or, like, what do you mean exactly? That's not... That that question does make sense, but what do you mean by that exactly? Hi, Vinny. Can you hear me? Yep. Um, 
I was trying to mark up a chart, I think like last week and Reggie was going over some stuff with me. And okay. he told me that one of the wicks, like the way I marked it, like that's, that wasn't like a area that you would highlight. So I wasn't sure if all wicks counted or does it have to come to a certain point in order for it to be um, a part of a markup. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So yes. And levels, uh, I understand the question now. Now in levels, wicks do count. The wicks do count. So obviously when I draw my shoulder, I'm not just like, oh, this is my shoulder right here. So whenever market wants to come back, I'm going to take the trade. No, I I find my break is structure point. Mm -hmm. Right. Now let's go ahead and zoom in real quick. Now I want the top of my shoulder at the high of this wick. Okay. And then down to the closest body point. Let's go ahead. I'm going to pull this up to the highest point of that wick. Bam. Now to the closest body point right there. So now that would be considered my shoulder, my shoulder zone right there. Does that make sense? Yes. Thank you. Yep. And then when it comes to stop losses, yes, no matter how big the stop loss is, yes, that, that no matter how long the wick is, that's your stop loss. And then when it comes to starting points, this would be our rally breakout. We cover the whole candle from wick. From the top of that wick to the bottom of this wick, not just the body. I know some educators do, but levels, we don't do that. We do the whole wick to wick. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Fig. Fig sent out. Let's see. I want to take a look at it. I want to take a look at it. He sent it with the levels link. So let's just see if the tablet will do us a solid. Oh, it froze. <laughs> let's see. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. So was this like a lower time frame entry you're looking at right here, Fig? One hour. Okay, cool. So wait, what is what is this whole thing? Is this whole thing like the four hour time frame right here? Or is this the daily time frame or what is this big picture exactly? This is E U R C H F. E U R C H F. I'm guessing this wasn't too far long ago. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. E U R C H F. Was that on the daily fig on the four hour? No, you're good. Is that four hour time frame? E U R C H F. Let's go and take a look. That was a snipe though. Shoot, gotta give it to you. That was a play in the half. Um, let's see. Four hour. Nah, I don't know. I don't know what, what time frame it was on. Hold on, let me let me pull up my phone real quick. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. I don't. I, don't, I can't find this. This is. He said the one hour. That's the last thing he said. Let's go to the one hour. Oh, okay. It's this right here. All right. It's this right here. So let's go ahead and see why market was selling in the first place, right? Before we even look at his drawings. Um, so boom, let's go ahead and put that right there and look to the right. So let's go ahead and zoom out real quick. Higher time frame. Okay. Market was definitely above something. So let's go to the higher time frame. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It looks like market was just testing this area before. Let's. I mean, it may break out, but let's just take a look. Let's go higher real quick. Okay, cool. So I understand why market was selling that. Guys, you see how sometimes when market isn't clear, you just have to keep going higher just to see what market's going to give you, right? So look at markets letting me know we got a BOS to the downside. Right, we can see that market was downtrending. Market did break structure to the downside. 
Come on, my boy. Let's let's move fast. Let's move fast. Right now, look. Let's delete this now. Now, guys, look it. Is this my rally breakout right here? Is this my rally breakout, fam? Yes, that's my rally breakout. So on the weekly, this whole candle here is my starting point. The whole thing. Right now, where's my stop loss, guys? Once I find, once I find my starting point, I gotta find the highest point for my stop loss, which would be right here. Right. So my my starting point is just this green zone, this, or this red zone, green candle. But my stop loss is way up here. Right. Now again, there's another setup. There's all this consolidation would be my shoulder. The high is my head. And then we change character. So again, I'm waiting for market to come back inside this area so we can continue some sales. Right now, look, all we do is wait, guys. I could have put an alarm right here. Now look, when market comes back, when market comes back. Boom. Do what it was supposed to do. Actually, I mean, this zone right here was touched or the starting point was touch, gave some sell opportunity, which was cool. But now it came right back to the shoulder. So I'm going to delete this now that I know that that starting point was touched and that shoulder was left there. So let's go back down to the daily time frame. Actually, let's go back down. Actually, let's stay right there. So we can see market was selling off, right? This is daily structure. So let's just go ahead and continue. This is the break of structure, BOS. Now, if market wants to con continue selling, guys, it would have to break and close below here. Now, this is the daily, right? So we're just waiting right now. Need change of character. Now, let's drop down to the four-hour time frame. Um, actually, I think his was the daily. But now we can start seeing structure now, right? This would be my shoulder. My shoulder. My head. Now, all we need is for market to break and close below before continuing sales. Right. So let's go ahead and break down this area first. So notice, guys, we got a, a massive. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten green candle breakout rally. Smacking. Smacking. Now we have to find the last selling candle that started that bullish rally. And it's going to be this one right here. So notice how it's it's literally playing off of this area before market closed today. Right. So don't sell just yet. I mean, he caught the sales up here. Good for you. But like to continue massive daily sales, we need to break and close below here. So Fig, if you haven't partialed or take any profits, bro, when Sunday opens, take some profits, bro, if you haven't. All right. Let me hop on the Zoom just so I know you heard that. Fig, I need you over. Where you at, my boy? I need you to know that. Because market just touched a nice daily or four hour starting point. He closed it. Let's go. My boy just caught massive blues. I love it, bro. Congrats. Awesome. So yeah, market still has incentive to, to go higher for sure. Right? It's a it's a clean starting point. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna see this and be like, oh, we're gonna sell, we're gonna sell. It's a head and shoulder. But guys, we need for market to actually break and close below, giving us this change of character, guys. If we don't get this, guys, if we don't get this right here, the market opens on Sunday or Monday, then we're not going to continue sales, right? And it's just it's just what it is. Market isn't breaking structure to, to sell down, so we're not going to sell down, right? Give me a five if that makes sense, guys. But let's go ahead and, and break down um, URCHF for the homie. One hour time frame. Oh man, and it gave an inverted play. I'm telling you guys, look at this consolidation. Touched our area, change of character. We may start heading up slowly from here, right? Just be careful. Just be careful. Continuing sales there. So let's go ahead and break this down here. Oh, I see what I see. What you did, Fig. I didn't see this green. I didn't see this red candle here, on on. On the link that you sent, but this is nice, bro. I like this. So notice, guys, we get higher high, 
and then we get higher low and then everything inside just starts to consolidate right everything inside starts to consolidate so we know that in order to break and close below for big turnarounds right it's right here big turnarounds look at we even got a break and retest now everybody sleeps on break and retests but that's very very clean i love break and retest but look guys notice how we take the last bit of seller liquidity and fig is a little more experienced right and he's able to see the market structure happening inside the market structure let me break that down real quick there's always going to be a play inside of a play and this is how you're able to catch the initial move sooner right then the initial move sooner so let's just go ahead anytime you see a, a big structure guys right Pay attention to the structure that's happening right here. Right? Because you can catch the early play if you mind your business and you pay attention to the chart that you pay attention to. Right? So look, in order to continue sales, right, we do have a higher high point right here and a higher low point right here. Right? So to... To look for sales, guys, we would have to go ahead long term, would have to break and close below and continue to look for sales like this, right? Does that make sense, guys? Give me a one if this makes sense. And this is a little bit more advanced, but it's the same thing. It, it's repetition, guys. Repetition. This is how you catch this initial move right here. We want to be able to catch this, right, before it happens. Guys, this is the move right here. So as we pay attention, yes, let's focus on structure. We did get a BOS and we did change character. So as the market breaks and closes below here, if we're anticipating sales, we're banking on this sell to go ahead and continue so we can catch that change of character. Does this make sense, guys? Give me a one if this makes sense. Once we get this, guys, the next play is now in order. Right, that that's right there, guys, is so key. This is a little bit more advanced, but if you can catch this, guys, mm, congrats to you. Congrats to you. Now, this could happen on any time frame. This big structure down up here can be one hour, right? One hour structure, and then the play that's happening right here can be like the five minute, guys. Right, this whole thing, the big structure can be the daily, and then the structure that's happening right here can be the one hour. Does that make sense, guys? Like you're trying to catch this initial move. So as we go back down to here, look at the structure that market was making on the way up. Higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low. Higher high. Now look. Does market break and close below this line here, guys? Yes or no? Type in the chat, yes or no? Does market break and close below this line? Dang, ain't no one active right now. Let's go, bro. Hey. I don't know who that is, bro. I Asain, how do you pronounce your name, bro? M. Asain. Essien? Yeah. Who's, who's guy is that? He's plugged in, bro. I like I like this guy. Bro, once we break and close below here, we're already looking to continue south. So notice we have our break and close below. Guys. This is our starting point for this area right here. You could have caught that snipe right there. And you caught the change of character move. You're able to catch this change of character move. And take that down. Now, that's just one play. There's also the, the head and shoulder play right here. Shoulder. Head. Change of character. 
there's also this shoulder move right here. So this play right here was pretty clean. Fig, shout out to you, bro. This was a nice move. This was a really nice move. Now it's EURCHF, so this is probably like 30 pips. But, you know, shout out to you, bro. Let's go. 80 pips to the daily, I think a four-hour daily starting point. Let's go, bro. Shout out to you. Hope you made it back. Hope you made it back. Let's go. So you could have done a buy to sell there. Um, It would have been a sell to buy. But yes. Yes, you could have. Yep. Does anybody have any questions, guys? Any any questions? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Krista. Do you? Um, I'll take a look at it. But yeah. Yeah, you can definitely look at buys to sells and sells to buys on the same chart. It's like I'm telling you, when you focus on one to two pairs and you just wait for confirmations, you'll be surprised on what you can catch. Like I that's like that's homework for everybody, guys. Like we're gonna be entering what 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 month? I mean, we're about to close this month out, right? Guys, on April 1st, you guys should find two pairs and stick to them for a whole month and see what you guys can do just see what you guys can do mark up set your alerts and wait for the confirmations because the market moves in waves the market moves in waves fam you can catch this sell to your buy and continue to ping pong buy up to your next sell and then continue to ping pong right so when you pay attention to your pairs guys great things happen you guys should definitely if you guys take anything out that i've been giving you guys you guys should definitely focus on two pairs next month and that's like in two three days guys um you said g gj okay miguel wants to be a part of the call let's go Yo, Vinny, are you able to check out Naz uh, if you have time? Uh, Yeah, give me a sec. I got time, bro. It's a Friday, my boy. If you got time, I got time. Uh, What is this? US... Oh, USDJPY. I was like, what's USDJPY 30, bro? I was chipping for a minute. Um, I do like this market structure, but I also like the buys. But I do like this because I'm looking for buys on the daily. So let's go ahead and head back to um, trading view real quick. Because I was looking at buys to continue trend, and it was the same buys that that Mike was looking at. And I was like, bro, I swear this fool is like hacking my system and marking up my charts for me, bro. Yeah, this USDJPY has been kind of bullish. What am I looking at right here? Uh, I'm like, what am I looking? Insane. I'll play. So look right here. Let's zoom out. Right again. Notice how when I look at a chart, guys, it is it pops up like this, right? So this is all you see technically. So look, this is what uh McGow was looking at, looking at sales in this area, which I do see exactly what you're looking at. I do see it, but I'm also looking at this down here. And market was bullish for a while, and I'm actually looking at higher time frame swing sales a little higher. So market was was bullish for a minute right we can see it's been on its way it's been on its way right and when i see in in bullish momentum guys I, i'm always looking for inverted that's the one thing that Oren said and i just stuck with i stuck with it so as market drops down we pull back drop down lower we change character and as soon as we change character we just start consolidating start consolidating now look i know you guys are looking at this structure right here happening inside of this right but do we even okay i was gonna say do we even swing or sweep this we barely swept it so if this never would have swept that guys i would have been like bro that's easily just consolidation let's just wait for the bus right but since we did sweep this you know i would like to take whatever comes first 
Whatever comes first. It's literally pick or choose. It's 50 50 right now. We got buys here locked and loaded. And then we also have sales right here locked and loaded. So it's in the middle. With whatever comes first. I'm I'm down to take it right here and continue up. And I'm also down for it to come down here and maybe come down to this area or even lower. But look at this, guys. Look at this on the daily time frame. Or even the four hour. Four hours is a little choppy, but on the daily, it's it's pretty clean. And technically, if you look at it on the daily, USDJPY can come down because look at this. We do have a rally breakout, right? That's like 10 candles right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And our starting point to that is actually way down here on the daily, right? So, I mean, yeah, it can, it can very well break structure like it did, continue up higher, and make noise. What does the zone that's in red on the top over here? Okay, let's go ahead and zoom out. Since I'm looking at the daily time frame, uh, Wanda, that's like even more full of things. Um, yeah, this is FXCM. Yeah, if it breaks above here, I, I think we're definitely going to go a little higher, but if it doesn't, it's just going to drop. Yeah, not only that, guys, look at the structure that, that we're seeing right here. Look at the structure, guys. This is all we look at. Shoulder, head, change of character. Guys, the change of character happened right here, guys. Right here, right? Our our breakout rally happened right here. So where's our last buying candle to that breakout rally? I believe it's either this small one. Oops. It's either this super, super small one. Where you at, my boy? Super, super small one, or it's this green one up here. Oh, it's not even gonna let me, dude. It's a doji. Which most likely it's that it's this candle right here. But I mean, if you're looking at the color, that candle has no color. Your starting point would be this one right here. So it does still have some incentive to go higher. Daily swing point. I mean, this is the monthly time frame, guys. So like your, your stop loss is way up there. I mean, we're already in a shoulder zone. So let's go back to the right. I mean, that's shoulder smack. Jesus. We, this is monthly, bro. Bro, you're in this for like a year. A year, a year and a couple couple days, a couple months. Yeah, that's solid, bro. Okay, so for me, that shoulder has already been used. That shoulder is no longer valid for me, right? So there got to be something a little higher that's above that market wants to head to. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And those are the zones that I have there. Now, let's just drop down to the weekly to see if I have anything. Well, I could like, you know, dissect for you guys so you guys can see a little bit what I'm what I'm looking at. Where you at, my boy? Come on. Let's get it. All right. So we can see we get a breakout here. Right? Rally breakout. My last buying candle is right here. And we never touched that again. We also have imbalance right here on the weekly for those who trade imbalances. There's still some imbalance. Right, it was this big. We could see market came into it and it shrunk it to this size now. So there's still some incentive for market to come higher for sure with USDJPY for sure. Right. So just keep that in mind, guys. We still technically haven't even broke these highs yet. So yeah, just be careful. I kind of like these. I wouldn't mind if if market wants to like consolidate and start heading back down. So we can go ahead and, and push a little higher. So like if, if Miguel sell happens, shoot, I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's catch some sales. Yeah, to catch some type of buy plays and continue higher. Oh, yeah, I'm, that's super solid. I'm down. I'm down. Uh, you said Naz before we head out. Yeah, let's do it, bro. I'm still waiting on a specific zone. I know a lot of people on, uh, on a, some broker's charts. Uh, I know that it broke highs, um, but on my chart, it never broke highs. 
And you see on the daily, we do peak above with the wick, but we actually never break and close above. And look how we're consolidating right below that. And on the four hour, we never break and close above. I have an alert right here for a break and close above, guys. So we can see we never broke and close. So we're still stuck inside of this consolidation. No matter how bullish this run is, obviously and uh, NAS is bullish. Like we know they've been bullish for the past couple of months. But no matter how much this bullish move looks, right, we're still stuck inside of here, right? We're still stuck inside of here, right? So if anybody's looking to test trade these areas, which I am because obviously there's an opportunity there that we could possibly miss, right? But I'm looking for this setup right here, guys. I mean, honestly, this is just looking juicier and juicier the longer it consolidates and hangs out right here, guys, in my opinion. This is this is what I'm looking at. So I do have zones right here um, because on the four hour, we do break and close um, above some. Above some structure, right? We do break and close above some structure. So this would be considered a starting point. Inside the consolidation, but again, it's inside consolidation. So like I'm not very like uh, like trying to get in. Right. I'll test trade it. I'm down, you know, to risk a couple of dollars. You may not be willing to risk and that's totally totally fine right but my the big one i'm looking at guys is this right here so i don't even have an alert look at me bro it's crazy i would have that marked up guys send up take a screenshot this is in the nash chat it's pinned so take a look at this guys i'm just waiting i'm just waiting can you take a look at gold i got you guys gold whoo i hope i hope somebody took gold buys bro Moving, bro. bro again guys look at this i we've had this zone marked up for like the past two or three weeks right and we had said that market has some incentive to come down lower right but since market was so bullish i mean look how bullish this is bro market was pushing right when that happens guys we find the closest starting points right we can test trade those or we can wait for confirmation okay and what is confirmation when it comes to levels is we just mark up our structure, guys. Did we break and close below here? Yes, we do. So this would be considered our BOS. So let's go ahead and adjust that real quick. Uh, bottom. And then, okay, cool. So we do break and close above and start changing character. So, guys, as soon as you've seen this push, maybe you don't get in right here. I repeat, maybe you do not get in right here. I mean, we got support, 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 support. I mean, are you thinking of getting in right here after one, two, three, four, five touches? You tell me. Me, not so much. When I see that, I'm thinking a little lower or I'm waiting for my confirmation, which was this rally breakout. So once that happens, guys, we can see this is the four-hour starting point right here, right? And the one-hour starting point was a little lower. Let's just drop down. Was this one right here? Right inside that little thing. Guys, that right there was play number one, guys. Play numero uno, all right? Now, guys, we want to continue buying, right? Market is long-term trend in gold. Now, look at this, guys. Would you guys consider this a short-term trend right here? Heading back to your buy? Yes, right? So let's just focus on the market structure as market structure continues to build. We do get a BOS. So let's go ahead and cover that. Guys, we rinse and repeat, fam. That's literally all. That's literally all we do. Let's go ahead. Need change of character. We'll put this at the top. Cool. Market continues to drop. Do we break and close below? Yes, we do. We do break and close below, right there with this rally breakout, right? So let's go ahead. I need a change of character to happen right here. Notice how. It was messing around. It didn't want to go ahead and break and close above. 
it was cotton consolidation. Cotton consolidation. Then what happens, guys? We get that confirmation. Would you guys would you guys guys consider this a nice confirmation? Yeah. Yes, right? So look at this. Starting point right here. And you could have caught play number two. And Mark is gone. I mean, if you didn't catch this one or catch this one, better luck next time, player boy. We better start marking up charts, G. You know? And that's what you got to do. I mean, I, I did the same thing. I, I got out of these and I started marking up. Where's my next one? Okay, right? We get a rally breakout here. Rally breakout here. Boom. So let's go ahead and stay fresh. Let's delete this. Uh, let's delete this. We'll delete this. We'll delete uh, this, this. We can delete this now. And I stay fresh, guys. Stay fresh. This is what I'm looking at right here. That's what I'm looking at. So if market wants to continue buying, I'm just waiting, My, you know, sitting pretty, doing what I got to do. And I'm waiting for market to come back so we can go ahead and continue. Right? This is the closest starting point to price right now. Price is where, guys? Right here. This is the closest starting point. Yes, we do have options lower. If it gets there, we'll worry about that when that time comes. But as of right now, this is it. Does that make sense, fam? Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Solid call, fam. Solid call. I'll go ahead and upload um, this call tomorrow after work. And I'll go ahead and send it into the chats. But with that being said, guys, you, I hope you guys have a great, great weekend. I hope you guys have a great time with your family on Easter. Um, and yeah, man, just just hang out with your family, guys. You know, we, we stay busy all the time, a lot of us. And we work super, super hard. And we never just sit and enjoy uh, the small times that we have with our loved ones. So make sure you guys hug your people. Tell them that you love them. And eat some good food for me, baby. Let's go. I will see you guys on Monday. Peace out, guys. Let's go.